Hey guys, Remy here. Okay, so today we're gonna go over Anderson poles. Anderson poles are a great alternative to wires because if one component happens to fail, the ones down the line won't fail out and instead power will be provided to them as well. So, let's get to it. Before we start, you'll need a few tools. One being the crimper, the X-Acto knife, an Anderson pole assister, wire strippers, and also some bare materials such as the 15 gauge and 30 gauge metal tip. Uh, these are what you insert the wire into. Then also the red and black double plug. You can also buy these singly with either black or red, but we like them connected so that it actually provides less things to manage and a more neat process. Also 16 AWG red and black wire along with these connectors that connect two double plugs together. And also, if you want to get really advanced, a soldering set to provide better connections. But we won't need the soldering set in this lesson. So, let's get to it. All right, so let's start building the Anderson poles. And your first step is to build something like this. This will plug into your controller. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some red and black wire. You're going to cut about two and a half inches from it. And then you're going to want to separate the black wire from the red wire. You do that by just cutting down the middle of these two wires. After you've done that, just simply separate the black wire from the red wire by just peeling it down the center. Okay, now you want to get this red wire's bronze tips exposed so that you can put it in the 15 gauge metal tip. You're just going to simply find the 16 gauged hole on your wire strippers and just pull upwards from it and now you have your tips exposed. Now you want to actually take it and twist it very very tightly so that when you put it in the metal tip it won't actually snag any loose wires and have them be bent outwards. So after you've twisted them take your 15 gauge metal tip and just slide it over the top of your exposed tips like that. And now you want to take your crimper and see the 15 gauge hole, you're just going to simply insert it into it just with the hump facing down or the bump facing down. Like that. And just crimp it. Alright, now you have this end complete. Now you're going to put it through this plug, make sure that this well or this valley matches up with the indentation on the actual plug itself. And when it does, we insert it in. Now you're going to want to use your assister and just simply latch on to the sides of the metal tip. Okay, so you just want to push until you hear a click and then once you hear that click, this wire is securely in. Now if you see that you've cut too much, you can just cut some from the end. Now you're going to also want to actually strip this end as well so that you can insert it into your controller. And if you want to have the best connection that you possibly can, you can actually solder this end so that it's a better connection into the actual controller. Now let's do the same thing for the black wire. So you're going to strip it again. Make sure that you twist it so that it can fit in the actual metal tip. Now put the metal tip over it and just crimp it down. And now insert this part into the plug. This part can actually be a little bit tricky. It can take a long time to actually do too sometimes. But once you get the hang of it, it can go quite quickly. 
All right, so once you hear that click, you know that this is secure, and now all you want to do is just cut off this end as well and just strip tip. All right, so now we're done with step one. And however many controllers you have, you just want to have the same amount of these setups. So say you have six controllers, you want six of these things. And so now let's move on to step two. Okay, so this is the Ranger robot that we built in the first video. I just took off some parts so that you could see the controllers more. So what you want to do is you want to take off these two wires, the red wire and the black wire, because we won't be needing those anymore because we have the Anderson poles. And one right here. Okay, since we only have two controllers on this robot, you only need two of the setups that we made in the first step. And now you're going to want to insert it in the same holes that you did before with the red and black wire. And then just simply screw it down. All right, now we just have to connect these two controllers. All right, in this next step, what you're aiming to build is just a smaller version of this. This was actually a backup strand for last year's competition robot. And as you can see by the multitude of ports, we had a multitude of controllers. All of these controllers controlled our motors, servos, and other components. What you're gonna need is more red and black wire. The length of it depends on how far your controllers are from one another. And as we can see in the Ranger robot, they're relatively close and you just want to measure it out. So let's say that much. And you're also going to want to give yourself a little bit of room just in case you make mistakes. So once you've measured it out, cut it. And you can remove this. And now you're just going to want to separate the black end from the red end, just the tips though, because you want the rest of the wire to stay intact. And just cut down the middle and just separate it a little bit. And then you're just going to want to do this on both sides. Oops. And if you get a situation where you by accidentally cut into the actual wire, this is why we had more um, wire than we needed, you can just simply cut it off so that you can start it fresh. And then this side we don't actually need to cut off, but we will just to even it off. And now you just want to strip these two ends. Okay, now you want to crimp these ends with the steel tips. What you're going to do again is just twist the wire so that they're nice and bundled together and they can't separate from each other. And same with these ends. So let's just strip it. And strip this one too. Now take your 15 gauge and just simply attach it to the ends. And if you do by any chance get a loose wire, you can just cut it off. And now crimp these. And just do that same thing to the other side.
Now once you've done that, insert these two into plugs. Okay, one done. Now let's go over to the other one. Two done. Now moving on to the other side. One done, and we do the other side. All right, and the last one done. Okay, so now we have um, your Anderson poles. So what you now can do is take your Ranger robot, connect one end to another, And now, if you turn on the robot, it still works. All right, what we're gonna do now is go over what to do in the case when you have more than two controllers. So let's say in this example you have three. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start with the initial controller, and then you're gonna measure out to the second controller. When you get to the second controller, you're gonna bend the wire in so that you have enough room to maneuver. And then once you get to the second controller, keep on doing this for every other controller you get to, but then when you get to the last controller, just have it measured out to the last controller and then just cut it like we did in the one where you only had two controllers. Okay, once you got your wire measured out to actually connect the middle part to your middle controllers. You want to first separate the black wire from the red wire. You want to make sure to do this with an X-Acto knife and to be cutting on a cutting board or something hard so that if you by accidentally slip through that you won't actually cut into anything. And so now you just want to separate them. You just want the bare copper wire in the end. Or now about that much is a good amount and then just simply cut away. And now you just want to repeat this for the right side. So again, you want to just cut where the wire is going. Then you want to peel back so that you expose the copper wire. And you just want the copper wire in the end. You don't want any of these plastic along with it. Or just peel it back. Okay, now when you have these two copper tips exposed, you want to twist them both to each other and then take your 30 gauge metal tip and then just simply slide it over. Now once you've done that, you just want to slide it into the 30 amp hole that you see on your crimper. So now it's crimped. And you want to do it for the same, the same thing on this side. Take your 30 gauge metal tip. And once you've put it on, you just want to simply crimp this one as well. And once these two are crimped, 
you can just simply slide into a plug. So one side in, and I'll just simply do the other. All right, and once you get that side in, you now have a connector for your middle controllers. And you just simply can do this for any of the controllers that you have that aren't either first or last. And then for the first one and the last one, you do what we did on the Ranger robot. And so that's Anderson Poles. All right, so well, we now know how to build Anderson Poles. And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to see the other videos and subscribe down below. Thanks.